What's up guys, Duck and James back for another video. This is the part 3 of the 2009 Kawasaki KLX140L. Right now I'm charging this battery. This thing hasn't started in a minute. You can see right here, it's 11.5 volt. And this thing, we thought it was a carburetor problem, that's why I wasn't starting. But me and my dad were looking with this electric stuff, and it's something with the electric. It might be the starter, but the starter is really expensive. So this battery, the guy said was brand new, but we're gonna see. We're charging it up right now, because the battery, when we started it, we took jumper cables from the car to here. I thought the battery was gonna explode because it's too much power, but I guess it didn't. All right, guys, we're at the Axmo Power Sports. We're about to try to go find our side panel. bike I have. I just ordered this piece. It's gonna come in like a week. My dirt bike hasn't been running that well right now. All right, I'll take this thing off. I'm about to take it off the charger and try to start it because it's been sitting at this rate for a while. It's not changing so maybe it's already charged up. Battery doesn't seem warm. It seems fine. Yeah, I'm about to try to start it up see if it starts up with no problem. Chain will still get it tight. Gas is on. Let's try it. Gas yes, in neutral. not working guys. Yeah, it's completely dead. Guys, I just talked to my dad and pretty much what we think is the problem is this battery is bad. The guy said he put a new battery in, but it doesn't seem like it. It looks pretty new, but as you could see, like, I don't know, it's just not holding juice. Oh dang, something just shocked me. I'm, we're not 100% sure it's the battery, but I'm, we're pretty sure. Alright, we got our battery. We're about to go to Vance Auto Parts, try to find the same one. And I'm going to return this oil while I'm at it. If you guys see my part two, you'd know. I'm going to get another gallon to put in my bike. Just got the battery. I'm going to... This is the good oil right here. I'm going to put a little bit of that oil. Might as well right now. So let's cut to that, and we're about to install this battery. We're installing the new battery in here. Oh, we started it. Oh, dang, we're doing this thing wrong. What the heck? Oh, we started it. As you guys seen? All right, guys. It's good. I know what starts. We're about to. Add some of this oil a little bit, not a full quart, maybe like, like that or something. All right, let's add a little bit of this oil. Add like this much. Let this drain out. Let's check this dipstick. All right, just filled up this oil. It's perfect, and we have a problem. Technically, this battery right here it only takes up like this to like here the guy just put in a tiny battery and i don't think this thing takes it this thing takes like a big battery that takes the full length so guys this is the next day we got it started everything is good the bike is running good now we just gotta wait for this side piece and this thing will be good maybe get some silver paint and paint all this stuff but yeah looking good right now it's a neutral one down smooth this chain I still feel that it's a little bit loose I need to tighten that 
and as I said, once this panel come in, I'll see you then. But before that, when I'm, I'm th since this thing is good, when this thing comes in, I'm selling it right away because I don't, I do not like Kawasaki. But this, I might just paint it silver, all the scratches, gotta tape it up. But yeah, it's gonna look nice for sale. I'm not gonna paint these plastic parts because who cares if it's a good running motor, then that's all you need. Let's turn this thing off and see you in a week. One week later, as you can see genuine parts. Here's the little plastic piece that goes right there. I bought it for about 45 bucks, which isn't that bad. All the prices I seen on eBay were like expensively high. Yeah, we're about to install this thing. Dang, that thing's shiny. Look at this thing compared to this. I kind of cleaned this thing off with some chemicals, but Alright, let's install this thing. Alright, just finished this. Installed this thing. It's not the right screw, but it looks fine. I'm about to start taking pictures for to put it up for sale. Some smudges. A little bit of scratches on this one, as you could see. But it's pretty sturdy overall see like there's like some rustage and i don't know if this was here i never seen this but it's like the paint started peeling from somewhere maybe it was like that let's start this thing up again as you can see it starts up good runs good too shut this thing off all right, as I said, I'm gonna start preparing this thing for sale. I'm about to take some pictures, some nice ones, maybe with this GoPro. The thing that kind of looks weird on this, they didn't design very good. Like this one's like sticking out obviously because of the exhaust, but they could have done that on this side maybe a little bit so it looked good because this side's like flat and this side's like, I don't know, it's their design. I'm gonna explain to you guys what we did in this video. At first, the something was wrong with this battery right here under the seat something was wrong with it or the electronics we thought the problem would be the this carburetor back there but apparently it wasn't it was just something with the electronics me and my dad worked together we fixed it now as you can see it works good and then like we were at auto parts trying to get a new battery and then we filled up the oil that's good for my maintenance video if you guys want to check those videos out to so all my dirt bike videos I'll, I'll have those videos in my description and what else we did was the thing you just seen we bought a fender if you don't know this fender did not come with the dirt bike where i bought it from facebook it came with only one of them and i had to buy that one so yeah we're about to end off the video we did a couple things in this video as i said let me know if you guys like these motocross videos or maybe a quad Cause you know after I sell this thing I'll maybe have like two G's maybe I could buy like a quad or something YZF maybe 450 so just let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll get one but yeah that's gonna be the end of this video hopefully you guys have a good rest of your evening or night Duck and James out <laughs>